I'm Claudia Chender, MLA for Dartmouth South and the NDP House Leader. We've just wrapped up four weeks of sitting in the Nova Scotia Legislature. This was Premier Tim Houston's first opportunity to show us what his government was really about. And it was also an opportunity for the NDP to come away with our own legislative successes. First, this government, which campaigned vehemently against rent control during the election, implemented a two-year extension to the 2% rent cap. At the end of the day, it was an NDP policy becoming law, and this was a major victory for tenants and community groups and demonstrates the incredible power we have in opposition when we work together with social movements to fight for something better for Nova Scotia. Second, through repeated questioning to ministers, we got firm commitments from the government to finally close the loophole that permits street checks to continue and that the race and to end the racist practice of birth alerts, which is something we've been fighting for for years. Finally, during the debate on Bill 57, the Environmental Goals and Climate Change Reduction Act, an NDP amendment moved by MLA Susie Hansen to create an Environmental Racism Commission passed, achieving a central goal of our party's own Redressing Environmental Racism Act. Despite our successes this session, our democratic system still gives the government too much control over our legislature. Stifled debate, hyper-partisanship, and macho bluster are the norm during these sittings. We can't take our democracy for granted, and that's why I was proud to reintroduce our party's democratic renewal bill and amendments to the House of Assembly Act, which would help fix the way we do things. Thank you to everyone who's taken the time to follow along during this session, and I look forward to seeing you when we're back in session in the spring.